Hi guys, Wandersun here. Let's start by organizing our project in folders first. Click on File, Open File or Project, and choose the main Pi project file. By default, Qt Creator creates the main QML file at the root of the project. Change the file view by choosing File System and below we will choose the main folder. Right-click and choose Show in Explorer. We will create a folder called Images and another called QML, all using lowercase letters. Inside the QML folder we will create two new folders, the Pages and Controls folder. In the folder images we will create another one called svg underscore images this part will contain the svg icons of our application, use svg only for icons and small images so as not to overload the rendering of the application. Drag the main QML file to the QML folder, unfortunately it is not possible to do this via the Qt creator so let's do it using file explorer. When running our application we will see that an error will appear, to correct this error just open the main pi file and change the path to the new folder we created. Now when we run our application we see that everything happens correctly. That done, let's go back to creating the new controls. Click on the main design file main QML and then on the left sidebar click on design. Let's create the button that will be responsible for expanding and retracting our main menu. Let's reposition this menu and set its width to 70 and height to 60. In layout we will choose the top position and left position, put 0 for all margins. Save and run your project, and you will see that the button is at the top left of the project. Put the temporary name for this button because afterwards we will replace it with an icon. We will add a new rectangle to our project, but first we will rename the ID of the button. We will also rename the ID name of our rectangle. Let's choose a new background color for this rectangle and also position it. In layout we will choose the positioning as bottom, left and right, in bottom margin we will put as 0, in left margin we will put as 70 and right margin we will put as 0. We will now add a rectangle that will be responsible for the alignment of our title bar. In layout we will place the anchors as top, left and right, in the top margin we will place as 0, in the left margin we will place as 70, and in the right margin we will place as 105. In height leave as value 35, and our bottom rectangle leaves the height value as 25. Let's make the background color transparent by clicking on the icon as shown in the video. Add an image that will be responsible for the icon of our application. Add the image control that will be the icon of our application on the top bar. Let's change the dimensions of this image and position it. Resize the image as placing its width as 28 its height is 35, and we will also reposition it in layout. In layout we will use the top anchor, bottom and left. We will put the top margin as 0. The bottom margin is 0. And the left margin is 5. 
Let's add a label that will be the text of our title bar. In anchoring we can use to fill everything. In the left margin use target anchoring as icon app and margin the value is 5. We will change the text of our application to a temporary text. And also change the color. Change the font size and also not positioning to vertical centered. I will add a new label that will be the description of our application that will be in the top bar. Let's change the ID name of this label, and also position it. We will add the anchoring for all sides and left margin we will put as descends and right margin we will put as 300. Let's change the text of this label. And also change its color. If you can't click on the control you want just click on another one, and then click on the desired control again. Now done, let's change the text color. We can copy the label we just created by pressing the Ctrl plus C keys and paste where we want by pressing Ctrl plus V. Now we are going to change the name of this label, and also change its positioning. On the left anchor let's change it to label top info, set the margin to 0, and the right margin to 0. Let's change the text alignment to right alignment. Let's go to the layout tab and change the right positioning of the anchor to 10 and change the text to any text you want. Continuing I will add a new rectangle to our application and that rectangle will be responsible for our content area that will contain the pages of our application. In anchoring we will choose all sides. In target left we will choose the left menu. Let's run our application to see how it is doing and see that our application is already starting to look the way we want. Let's change the background color of this rectangle to transparent, add the name for this rectangle, and continue. We will continue adding a new rectangle to our application. This rectangle will be responsible for the bottom bar of the application where we can add some extra information. In anchoring we will choose all sides, in the top anchoring we will choose as content pages and margin value as zero. In the left anchoring we will choose as left menu and value zero and other margins we will put as zero. Let's change the color of the bottom bar to the same color as the top description bar. We can copy the same label we created on the top bar and paste it on the bottom bar. 
This done we will just adjust its position as shown in the video, leaving the right margin as 30. Now we will add a column and will be responsible for aligning our left menu buttons. Add this column inside the left menu rectangle and align it as shown in the video. Set the top, left and right anchor to zero and the bottom anchor we will not worry too much at this point. Let's add a button inside that column if that button is not inside the column you can use the navigation tab and drag it into the correct column. See that the button jumps out of our column to solve this just change the background color of the rectangle content or in our column mark the visibility option as a clip. See that now if we change the width of our left menu all the right content will adapt based on it. I'll put some different values so that you can see how it will work. I'll put a different background color to make it easier to see. We are almost finished with this video, but before we add a new row where we'll contain our buttons responsible for minimize, maximize, restore and close our application. Let's add a row to our top bar and change its size and position. Rename that row, put its width as 105 its height as 35, and use anchoring as shown in the video. To finish we're going to add a button into that row, and then immediately change its dimensions to 35 wide and also 35 high. Rename that button and drag it into the created row and confirm that the width of this button is 35 this height is also 35. And this video ends here, in the next video, I will teach you how to customize the buttons and reuse them in a simple way in our application. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.